Hi, it's Gary, and in today's Perspectives video, I want to tell you about the parallels that I've noticed between guitar building and guitar playing. And I think this stems from the fact that those who are masters in either discipline have solidified certain things that allow them to develop a personal style. And I think it's a combination of a few things. It's the, the technical mastery, it's the knowledge base that they have, the decision-making that they have, and then finally, an artistic vision of how things should end up. And if you think about somebody like Julian Bream, he had a signature sound and style. Whether he's playing Baroque music or modern music, his personal sound was unmistakable. And I think he had the superior knowledge of the music he's playing, an understanding of the music, but also a technical mastery and then this artistic vision of how he wanted to express everything. And so the incredible result that he got was a combination of all these factors. Now, guitar building and guitar playing are both craft, and in that they can be developed to uh, put your personal mark on things. But at the very beginning, it's a little bit tough when we don't have the right technical skills developed yet. But as we start to solidify those technical skills, then we can take the next step, such as making more and more musical decisions if you're a player. And that will give you a range of more possibilities so that, for example, you can shape a phrase and then you can shape a piece so that the final outcome is something that is compounded upon all of the parts. In guitar building, it's kind of the same thing. And in fact, um, when you're starting guitar building, it's a bit frustrating, just like when you're starting to play some, a musical instrument like guitar, where we don't quite have the technical facilities yet. And so one of the fun things to do in guitar building is to try different designs and even do a bit of experimentation but it can be frustrating for new builders when they don't have the technical facilities yet. And so the final outcome might not be what they expected and be disappointing. So if you're a new builder or somebody that's de developing your craft, I suggest that you take a, a very realistic look and assess your skills in the technical department, the decision and knowledge department, and then also examine what designs you're trying to implement. Because until you, you are consistent in your technique and applying that with consistency of how you make decisions throughout your building process, and then settle on one particular design, unless you have all three things, you will never be able to develop uh, what's known as a signature sound and feel of your guitar. That's your style, your personal imprint on the guitars that you build. So then finally, uh, a parallel that I have noticed between playing and building is that unfortunately because people who have mastered uh, building and playing, they've developed a strong style and hopefully it's a very personal, recognizable style. Not everyone who is listening to us play or playing our guitars, not everyone is going to gravitate or even appreciate our style. And so early on I recognized as a builder that the majority of people in, who have tried my guitars simply will not gravitate towards them. And while at first that can be very disappointing, I later realized that it's statistically just not going to happen. And the same is true for people that are players. They know that their style is not going to agree with everybody. But think of how boring the world would be if everybody played the same and everybody built the same guitars. And what's really great about the guitar community is that there's room for all types of players and styles just as there are all types of guitars and uh, designs of guitars and guitar makers who have a different type of sound or sensibility that there's always going to be a better match between listener and player 
and between player and luthier. So I'm always happy that I can't build that many guitars anyway to satisfy everybody. And because I'm not going to satisfy everybody, what I really need to do is just be happy by connecting my guitars to those players who it really resonates with and they can be very expressive artists um, on these instruments. So that's what really motivates me. So I look forward to seeing you on the next video.